Hey everybody, Sister Fantastic here, and today's video is going to be just a little bit different. I've got some things that I hauled that I want to share with you, but I also want to create a look as I go and share some swatches and, you know, just put together um, another Valentine's look for you guys with these makeup items. And so anyhow, I just want to get started. I want to go right in with um, the things I received from BH Cosmetics uh, from Studio Pro. I uh, ordered the eye and, and lip makeup remover, and so I wanted to try this, and it's really neat and mesmerizing. This blue liquid moves slower than the clear liquid above it, but anyway, you just shake it up and, and you use it just like you would um, other, you know, like a micellar water or whatever. And so anyhow, I'm looking forward to trying that. And then I received... The BH uh, Liquid Foundation, Naturally Flawless Foundation, and I chose uh, the color Fair Golden because the ivory, they were out of the ivory, and so I decided to go with Fair Golden because it seemed like it was a color that I could use, and so anyway, I'm going to pull this out of the box, and we're just going to go right in and try this out. So that's what that looks like. It's a beautiful uh, bottle and it has this like I'm just gonna put some of this on my hand because it's way too much for my face anyway it's supposed to be a full coverage foundation so let me just put some there on the back of my hand and I can go in with my beauty blender and we'll see what happens This seems to be a color that will work for me. I usually go for a little bit lighter of a color than this in the winter time. But this seems to be pretty close. So we'll see if it oxidizes or not. Cover up this scar. And we'll see how mattifying this is. Get a little bit more. It's got like a, a, a golden undertone to it and uh, gives like a natural natural color to my skin which I'm not really I can go I'm pretty neutral so I could go either with a warm tone or with a neutral or even a cool tone foundation as long as it's close to my skin color it'll blend right in and uh, because of the freckles you know I can use the warm warmer tones like this and this looks like it's going to cover most of the freckles up. Not bad. Not bad at all. looks like a pretty natural pretty natural finish all right let me go on with some concealer and today 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 I'm gonna use this master conceal by Maybelline face studio and 
and put a little bit of this concealer underneath my eyes. I like a concealer that brightens underneath my eyes and conceals the um, the dark circles. I have like purple circles underneath my eyes all the time. So anyway, I'm not going in heavy with the concealer today, but I do want to cover up those circles, and I'm not going to really. Sometimes I put it all, you know, in the T-zone, and but today I'm just going to, since this foundation is pretty full coverage, I'm just going to focus this concealer right here underneath my eyes today. And just smooth this out. All right. So we will definitely continue to check out that that I that um, foundation. Okay, and another thing that I received from if this was a freebie, a complimentary item from BH Cosmetics. It's called the Afternoon Rendezvous 16 Color Eyeshadow Palette, which has a lot of neutrals. But down here, you can't hardly see it on the packaging. There's some really pretty. Uh, cranberry berry type colors so let me just open this up where you can take a look at it and there's a, a really nice mirror and there's the size of the pans about the size of my thumbnail so this looks like a really good all-around palette and there it looks like one two three four five six seven eight shimmers and one two three four five six seven mattes one two three four five six seven eight nine shimmers including that black that black's got some like um uh, flecks of blue glitter in it i'm not sure how um shimmery that's going to show up on the swatches anyway I am not going to swatch that right now I'm just going to because I want to use another palette that I received other than this one but anyway we will we will come back to this another time alrighty and the card that they sent me a thank you for shopping card um, says 2018 this is the year to sparkle 2018 and they gave me a promo code which has already expired but there's always some kind of sale going on at BH Cosmetics so you don't have to worry about that okay then I jumped on uh, the Macari website where my friend Paula V has some things that she was uh, wanting to let go of and so I picked up uh, some Tarte products from her and then as a bonus she threw in some eyeshadows that she has been creating and so for those of you that haven't subscribed to her uh, jump on over to her website uh, her YouTube channel it's uh, Paul's Lives Life and she here lately she's been um, in the lab, so to speak, concocting uh, formulas for eyeshadows and some of the beautiful things that she sent over uh, to complement my purchase. I'm going to share those with y'all and try some of these out today. Look at this beautiful blue, y'all, that she made. Look at that. That is just like screaming at me. So anyway, this time in my boxy charm, if I get that Z palette, then I may just take all these little pots of eyeshadow that she gave me and just pop them in that Z palette. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Bam! That's really bold. Really bold for me. That, that one will take me out of my box for sure. Okay, and then here's a 
pretty purple that will match my shirt today. Actually, it's coming on camera more like a uh, brownish wine color. Let's watch this and I'll show you what it looks like. It's a really light plum. It's not as pigmented as you or scary as you think it might be. Beautiful. So I'm probably going to have to use that since that's not too frightening. You know me. I'm in. I'm kind of stuck in a in a neutral zone. And here's another color that I just think is beautiful. It's a really pretty. Like a light uh, mauvey pink kind of color. It looks like it might have some quite a bit of shimmer to it, which will match that pretty. So let me just put that there and we'll possibly use that as well. And here is a beautiful coppery color. Gorgeous. I can't believe she made all this stuff. She's so smart. Anyway, she has a PhD. And she's so highly educated. And a young mother. But anyway, she's focusing on her family right now. Look at that. Look at that copper color, y'all. Isn't that pretty? Oh, my word. I love that. Definitely going to have to use that at some point. And then she sent over this little sample, which is like a glittery, like a highlight shade. And it's in a small pot. And I don't want to lose it, but I want to show it to y'all. Whoop! There I go. I said I didn't want to lose it, and I just lost it. Rats. Hold on. is what I should have done to start with is take it out but look at that that just shines like the sun let me find me a finger to use here and this is really soft and buttery I mean super soft and buttery it almost feels like those super shock shadows there's it's like got like a um, it feels like a it's just so super creamy it almost feels like it's kind of wet in a way all right let me just put that right here and it's just a beautiful glitter I don't know if y'all can see it or not I probably didn't put enough on my finger I just want to use it sparingly since I just have just this little bit but anyway if you could just see this in real life it's just breathtaking right there anyway the camera's not doing it justice. So I went for all, I went through all that for nothing. I wanted to sit, I wanted y'all to see it. So anyway, and then I got this uh, couple of things from Tarte here from the Macari website that she had on sale. Uh, this is a tinted moisturizer from Tarte. Uh, it's got Tarte Guard uh, SPF 20 in it in the color medium which is looks like it might be similar to a uh, BB cream and since I've already got foundation on I will save this for later on in the summer when I have maybe more color on my face and then there was this cute bracelet from Tarte I don't know if y'all can see this or not it says kiss and makeup and it ties with a little string and it's got a tiny little charm right here anyway I know just as soon as I take it out of the package that string is going to get dirty and I just don't want that to happen so I'm kind of hanging on to that and maybe save it and wear 
for a special occasion. And then I got a couple of um, lippies. Let's see here. We got lip paint in the color rose from Tarte. Beautiful. Let me swatch this for you. There's that right there. Beautiful. I love that. And then this one is called Birthday Suit. Which is a really pretty, like a brownie nude. And it's more of a mousse-like texture. Not near as wet and glossy as the other one. So, but I'm pretty sure this one right here will dry down matte. And there's what that looks like. And then I got a little lip liner. It's called Later Graham. Real creamy, and there's what that looks like. And then I got a sample of the Tarte Tardius Lash Paint. Which I think I have another one of those. And then I got the Tarte High Performance Naturals Make Believe in Yourself Eye and Cheek Palette. Which is one that um, she was willing to that she had purchased that she was wanting to let go of. And I just love the packaging on this. And then the mirror. And then, of course, all of the shadows. And this just smells like chocolate. And it's awesome. So beautiful. So I thought today I would use some of this palette and then a couple of these eyeshadows that she sent over and create a look and do another look for Valentine's Day. I've got, um, let me set this box aside. And then I also have a new eyeliner from NYX, the Faux Black Collection. I got the Midnight this time, which was a separate purchase. But anyway, it's like a dark blue and that's what that looks like. So I have that. All right, so let's get into this. I want to, let's see. There is a, one matte in this palette and it's, it's called Myth right there. And I'm just gonna go right in with that. And we're just gonna lay that down. In the crease just to have something down where everything else can blend in and move into <coughs> okay now I want to go into this beautiful purple that she sent over and let's get this on my lids and we'll see how this works out.
Y'all looks pretty good. I like the color. It's like a... Um, I don't know how to describe it. It's definitely in the berry, berry family. And there is some sheen to it, but it is not, it's not like this high pigmented, you know, glittery shadow at all. It, I mean, you can definitely use it in the crease because it's, it works good like a good matte would. And it seems to be blending pretty good too. And it's buildable, so I've got, there's the second layer of it right there. So that turned out pretty good. All right, let's go on the other side. This reminds me of um, a plummy brown that I used to use a lot from Max Factor. And I love that shadow because it was, I mean it had the color in it, but it made my eyes just really look blue and really pop. So I'm going to, this is definitely a winner for me right here. And I don't know what shade she's going to name this, but in the pan it looks almost like a grape. Anyway, good job, Holly V. That's beautiful. All right. Now, let's see here. Let me go in with uh, this beautiful shimmery shade that she created. It's like a pinkish, pinkish shimmery. It's this, that one there next to, uh, in between the copper and the plum. Can you pick up on it? There we go as the light hits it. Yeah, that one. And I'm just going to put this on the lid. And it seems to be sticking to my skin really, really well. Tell you what, let's use a little bit of setting spray on this and see if we can't get some drama. That's what I like. I like a little drama. can tell the difference.
Anyway, she's working on a palette right now with some of these shadows that she created uh, as a part of um, a giveaway. But I'm hoping at some point she's going to make these available to everybody and sell them. So anyhow, she's working on a palette of nine different colors and in the process of selecting exactly which ones she is going to put in that palette. So anyway, we will see how it all turns out here pretty soon. I'm pretty sure she's on the tail end of that and in another week or so we should be able to see the results. Okay, now I want to use one of these colors right here in the palette to enhance what we're doing here. So, let me find something that's kind of shiny. See, there's, I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but there's, let me turn it, well, I didn't do those swatches very good. Anyway, I'm kind of leaning towards this brown. Let me show it to you. It's between this brown and this purple. So here's the brown, and here's the purple. Right there on my arm. Let's go with the purple. I don't do I don't do enough purples. Anyway, that purple will blend really, really good, I think. So let me just grab this small brush here and let's work on this outer V. Oh yeah. Awesome. And I'm going to go underneath the lash line. And just blend that up and out. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes, yes, this is called Fairy, this purple color. Good choice, good choice. Okay, we're just blending. Mm-hmm. Awesome, awesome. Very, very happy. All right, let me swatch this highlighter. And we're going to consider using this on our cheek. Wow, look at that. Whoo! That is like, bam, in your face, white highlighter. Right there on the end of my hand. Look at that. It's got like a gold color to it. Oh. Okay, we're going to use that. We're going to use a light touch, though. All right, let me put some bronzer on. Let me go in today with, um, let's see here. Since we're doing Tarte products, let me go in with this 
Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. I dropped my Tarte blush. Feisty. It's up underneath the piano, I think, over here. I'm going to have to get some kind of a mechanical hand or something and reach up underneath there and grab it. Anyway, for the sake of blush today, I'm going to wear, let me see, what have I got here that I can just pull right out and use? Let me go in with this BH Cosmetics palette, professional blush palette, 10 colors. Look at that. And I think I'm going to go in with, hmm, it's hard to decide. Hard to decide. Let me mix a couple of colors here. Let me mix this brown one and this pink one here together and see what I can come up with. Definitely enough pigment for that. Blend that in. Oh, yeah. Okay, now let's try some of this highlighter. I typically don't use white highlighters, but this has a touch of gold in it, so we'll see what happens. Wow, that really softens that color up really nice. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Good job, Tarte. Look at that, y'all. Beautiful, just beautiful on the skin. Let's use some right here on the nose. Use a little on the Cupid's bow. The chin. And right there. Underneath the brows. Ooh, that's gonna bring me some happy times, that palette right there. And Paula V's eyeshadow. So I'll have to come back and create a look using that bold blue. And use that on a it's, it's almost like, um, I don't know, like a real pretty summery blue. That did not dry down, that tart lipstick. That one that was like a mousse-like texture. It is really good and creamy, though. Hmm. I wish y'all could see the sparkle on that one little highlighter that she that she made, but it, it is competing. It's having to compete with all these other colors. Anyway, I feel like if you use that like on top of something, that would really be beautiful. Really, really be beautiful. All right, well, let me use one of these lip paints that she sent over. Let me use that first one. That dried down matte, it's called Rose. I'll keep that lip kind of nude like. I'm 
gonna put some some of this eyeliner on. Oh yeah, that really adds to the look. So this is the color Midnight from the NYX Faux Blacks. Love these eyeliners. Awesome eyeliners. They're waterproof. Okay, I've got some mascara on, but I'm just going to go over this with a little bit more. And if I was going out, I would probably put on some lashes to go with this look. And maybe even bump it up with that glitter on the eyelid on top of this light colored shadow that I'm using. But this is definitely workable for me. This look is. For Valentine's Day or day or or night, Valentine's night. All right, let me put some setting spray on, and I'm gonna go in with the Cover FX Illuminating setting spray. That's what that looks like. Not too much, just a light coat. I have a tendency to overdo it. So that blush combination really looks pretty with the bronzer and that highlighter. Mm. I'm gonna have fun with this palette. This little palette was a winner winner. I'm so glad I got this uh, from Paula V. So if you haven't checked out the Mercari website, um, you know, do that. You can find some really good deals. A lot of times people who have bought things that they've never even used and they're still brand new, you know, they're selling them or if they're just real gently used, you know, you can purchase things that are gently used and uh, the trick there is to uh, spray the palettes down with alcohol, you know, uh, the ones that have been gently used, just spray them down with alcohol, uh, pure alcohol, and, and of course, you know, bring them the hygiene back um, just to make sure that there's no germs or anything, and then you're good to go. So it's not, it's not uh, harmful at all to shop there, and it's a great way to save uh, a lot of money and to help out you know other youtubers and other people who are that you know especially you know like I know Paula V so I didn't hesitate on purchasing uh, makeup from her so anyhow probably all that she ever did out of this was just swatch it and uh, maybe try a color or two on her eyes and that was it and she decided you know that these were colors that were maybe too light for her skin tone or whatever and so she decided to let let it go because she has other things that she prefers more. So anyhow, uh, I will link that down below for you where you can uh, find it. And I think she still has some stuff on sale on uh, Macari as well. And so, you know, go over there and check it out. And uh, so anyway, that is it for today's video. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. I uh, hope you have a great Valentine's Day. And um, God bless you today is my prayer. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.